You've probably heard all the tips and tricks for eating meats at a Brazilian steakhouse, but what about the salad bar? From holding back on that third strip of candied bacon to saying yes to a second helping of veggies, here's everything you need to know. Consider your trip to the Brazilian steakhouse to be your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and midday snack all in one. In other words, you should spend sun up to sun down preparing as though you were training for a major competition. So if you have to take a walk around the nearest restaurant to entice your nose with the smells of grilling meat, then go ahead. Do whatever you must do to create the hungriest possible version of yourself. Saving as much room in your stomach as possible will result in those crucial extra few trips to the salad bar. It's no secret that the buffet table is a mere accessory to the real star of the show the meats, but there are still plenty of delicious options that await you. So instead of eating your usual breakfast and lunch meals, we suggest holding off until it's time for dinner. Think of your first trip to the salad bar as your breakfast and your second as lunch. You'll still fill yourself up with plenty of delicious food just later in your day. If you're anything like us, you're a sucker for a good buffet. But while it may be tempting, you shouldn't view the salad bar as an all-you-can-eat opportunity. Instead, tread lightly. Take your time walking through the buffet line. Bask in all the sights and smells. What do you notice? What looks good to you? Ponder this as you return to your seat, empty-handed. Your friends and family will question you, but in order to make the best of your experience, you should ignore them. Instead, flip your red coaster to green and spend your first few bites on the meats. I turn this over to green, and look who shows up. This guy with the meat. Yeah, Wait. that's correct. Once you feel fully prepared, you may approach the buffet table once more. You may wonder how a Brazilian steakhouse can possibly make enough bottomless meat to serve all its guests. The trick to this is quite simple, and it's one to which even the most seasoned of us fall prey. Instead of relying on customers to stuff themselves with loads of meat, they let their salad bar and buffet table do all the heavy lifting. While the gauchos meander from table to table with sticks of fresh cuts, plenty of customers are too full to eat more, as they've already consumed more cheeses, cold cuts, and veggies than they could possibly handle. The simple truth is that the salad bar is more accessible than the skewers of meat. While premium cuts are delivered to your table fairly quickly, a constantly replenished table filled to the brim with all sorts of Brazilian goodies makes for an easy way to fill your plate and, therefore, your stomach. The next time you find yourself in front of the salad bar, remember that you'll get your money's worth by saving your stomach power for the delicious steaks rather than the fairly inexpensive options of the buffet. From Fogo de Show's mozzarella caprese salad to its refreshing leafy greens, plenty of steakhouses have a delightful array of veggies at their buffet table. However, they are often upstaged by more substantial and tempting side dishes. We know you may not want to hear this, but maximizing your Brazilian steakhouse experience means holding off on the heavy stuff and replacing it with a plate of fresh veggies. Not only do they pair exquisitely with the hearty shavings and cuts of meat, but they also will help save plenty of room for you to eat until your heart gives out. The reality is that vegetables are delicious, despite what you may have believed as a child. And if you're sophisticated enough to treat yourself to a bottomless steak dinner, you are far too old to be snubbing your nose at the greens. We're not suggesting you deny yourself of all other buffet table delicacies. It's all about knowing which to indulge and which to merely graze. We're willing to bet that most of you love a good charcuterie board. So do we. However, there is a time and place for trays of cold cuts and cheeses, and the Brazilian steakhouse is not one of them. Think about how easy it is to build your own charcuterie board at home. Salami, prosciutto, and brie are all ingredients that can be found for cheap at your local supermarket. And while these meats and cheeses often taste better at a restaurant rather than crafted at home, you can find plenty of joints that specialize in such a delicacy. If we're being honest, the Brazilian steakhouse is not one of such places. If you're dining at Texas Day Brazil, you're there to sample lavish steaks that you can't make at home. While everyone loves a good salami and cheese duo, hold off on this for now. Instead, save room for as much juicy steak as you can handle in one sitting. Steak night! Imagine you're about to pile a forkful of greens into your mouth when you realize they're soggy and wilting. You take the dreaded walk of shame back to the salad bar to pick up a new batch, saddened that you've wasted some perfectly good greens. This unpleasant experience happens all too often at steakhouses, and it's simply because diners fail to consider the implications of plating crunchy lettuce beside their thick and juicy steak. It's a common mistake, yet so easily avoidable. So when you take your seat at the table, ensure you set aside a plate strictly designated for your meat cuts. And when you head towards the salad bar, pick up a buffet plate that's already sitting out by the serving dishes. This way, you're keeping the delicious flavors of both your meat and your veggies separate. Bread. Whoever says they don't like garlic confit is lying to you. At steakhouses like Fogo, you can scoop spoonfuls of the delightful garnish right onto your plate so that your taste buds can experience a creamy, garlicky flavor alongside each bite of meat. However, just because you can doesn't mean you should. In our experience, the roasted garlic dish at the salad bar will only make you feel more full, and that's not the energy you want to bring into your Brazilian steakhouse dining experience. We recommend grabbing three to five cloves to try with just a few different cuts of meat, and then leave it behind. Save that coveted room in your stomach for more delicious steak. 
But if you'd like to incorporate your own garlic confit into your next homemade steak dinner, who are we to stop you? If you've been to a Brazilian steakhouse, you are all too familiar with that end of meal victory lap to the salad bar. If not, let us prepare the scene for you. The sun is set and your meal is coming to a slow yet steady end. Your friends have triumphantly tossed their napkins onto their plates, signaling the conclusion of their steak extravaganza. A few others in your party are delicately picking at their final bites, willing their stomachs to allow just a bit more food. Despite your full belly and already unbuttoned pants, you decide to embark on one last trip to the buffet table for some end-of-the-night veggies. While this seems like a delightful end to your grand meal, there's a strategic alternative that might better serve your steak experience. According to an article appearing on Groupon's website, it's rumored that many Brazilian steakhouses save the best and priciest meats for the end of the night. If you want to have your fill of the most premium cuts, we suggest skipping the salad bar when the meal begins to slow down. Instead, save your stamina for the best meat the restaurant has to offer. From the tenderest of filet mignon to a delicious beef ancho prime ribeye, your steakhouse experience certainly is not complete without experiencing the night's finest meats. In the most flawless of utopian societies, you will find its people eating strips of candied bacon for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because of this, we can safely say that any time spent at a Brazilian steakhouse is a glimpse into what it's like to live in paradise, simply due to its bottomless candied bacon opportunities. Although such a snack doesn't seem like the typical component of a salad bar, you'll be sure to find loads of it at restaurants like Fogo de Show. Its sweetness provides the perfect contrast to the inherent salty crunchiness of a strip of bacon. But similar to many other buffet table favorites, we caution you against eating too much. Don't get us wrong, you should definitely see what all the hype is about. Try a slice or two, but always hold true to the Brazilian Steakhouse Golden Rule. You are there to try foods that can't be made to perfection at home, so enjoy a bit of the tasty snack if you must. But remember that you can also make it at home with your next steak dinner. I have to go out to pick up something for dinner. Steak? Money's too tight for steak. Steak? Mm, sure, steak. At some Brazilian steakhouses, the salad bar may present you with a small variety of sushi rolls. Whether they're Cali or Philly, they'll probably call your name. But if we're being perfectly honest with you, they're probably not that great. After all, the specialty of a steakhouse is the steak. While the rolls may be presented quite beautifully, the truth is that they cannot possibly be prepared with the same dedication and expertise as their meaty counterparts. It may be tempting to expand your palate, and in all other circumstances, we would undoubtedly encourage you to do so. But your time at the Brazilian steakhouse should strictly focus on the basics, the hearty cuts of beef, lamb, and pork. Remember that sushi is a mere guest in your steak-centered show and should be treated as such. As with the vegetables, treat the sushi sushi as pleasant, lighter fare, but never the main event. If we find you at an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet, though, that's a different story. Tread lightly around the sushi trays at your Brazilian steakhouse. No matter how many discounts you may find, it's safe to say that your Brazilian steakhouse experience isn't cheap, and reasonably so, as paying more for high-quality meat is the expectation. While this is the case, it does not mean that you need to spend an unreasonable amount of money on perfectly ordinary chocolate cake. There's cake? I'm on my way. There are a few tricks when it comes to satisfying your sweet tooth at a Brazilian steakhouse. You can either avoid the dessert menu entirely and stop for a sweet treat on your way home, or you can take it upon yourself to construct your very own fruit salad straight from the buffet. From prickly pear to refreshing pineapple, you will often find all sorts of tasty fruits at the salad bar. And while nobody appreciates the memory of their parents telling them to just eat some fruit when they request a cookie, there is seriously nothing wrong with fruit salad. It's delicious. When it's time to reflect upon your steak dinner with a touch of sweetness, be kind to your wallet and take advantage of the bottomless food that you've already paid for. We can assure you that you'll find that snacking on some refreshing fruit is a great way to end your night.